Hey y'all! Okay, so today I did a gold look on my eyes and then a purple lip just to because I think gold and purple look really great together and um, I you can wear it wherever you'd like maybe a Lakers game I don't know <laughs> and um, I don't know I mean I know my eyes kind of got a lot going on but I know they say that when you got a lot going on in your lips that you shouldn't have that much going on in your eyes or whatever that rule is. Well, <laughs> I mean, I, I don't know if I have too much going on, but I think that makeup should be fun, you know? It's like, why follow certain rules that I think makeup should be fun and you could do whatever you want with it, that's what it's for. So yeah, I just did like a gold look because I really like gold eyeshadow colors especially on brown eyes well I think gold and browns look good on any eye color so it, you can never go wrong and I just wore a purple lip with it today because I really liked it but you can wear any color you'd like <laughs> um, and yeah this is pretty much it I just I use the Too Faced chocolate bar palette again I know <laughs> but I can't help it it's just there's so many cool colors in it and it smells like chocolate. <laughs> like when I do my makeup, I'm just always smelling it. So it's great because then my eyeballs, my eyelids <laughs> or whatever smell really good like the whole day. I'm actually not a big fan of chocolate. I know, what kind of person am I? <laughs> but I do like the smell of it. So I enjoy this quite a lot. Let's get on to the tutorial. And if you want to see how I got this look, then keep watching. Let's get started. So first I'm gonna just spray, give my face a little spritz of the Urban Decay. This, this slick. And then I'm going to apply some of my Smashbox color correcting primer. Next, I'm going to be using the L'Oreal True Match in W4 with my Sephora number 62 brush. Just going to dot it. Now I'm going to conceal with my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind, just get a little bit on there. Now I'm going to go in with the High Definition Elf Under Eye Setting Powder. Just to set the concealer and <laughs> excuse the faces that I make when I'm putting on when I'm doing things to my face it's just I don't know it makes it easier <laughs> I don't I didn't realize it till I started like filming myself I was like what am I doing with my face but I don't know, I, sometimes I just have to do certain things, it's like a reflex, like when you put mascara on you have to like, have you ever been putting mascara on and you're just like, you know, <laughs> that happens to me. I don't mean to do it, it just happens. And then now I'm gonna go on to the eyes, so I can't find my primer today. So I'm going to be using my concealer just to kind of um, make it a little bit uh, even tone. And so the colors stick on there. 
I, I don't know why I can't find it. It's just, it's so tiny. And I'm just gonna have to use the concealer. Oh, you improvising! Have you seen Ratatouille? That's where that's from. <laughs> Sorry. I really like that movie, so. So now from the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette, I'm gonna be using Milk Chocolate, which is a matte brown color in the crease of the eyes. Just gonna deepen that a little bit more. Bring it up a little higher. Now I'm going to be using creme brulee, which is a gold color in the palette. So you can use any gold color you'd like. And I'm going to be using the Real Techniques Base Shadow Brush. Don't mind Oliver right there. Yeah, he's come and paid me a little visit. He's being a little stubborn and won't go away. Sorry if he's bothering you, but he just won't leave and he just, he's there every day and he's kind of like, he's just like, I just wake up and I see him and he's like, hey Sarah, how are you doing? Instead of like, and I'm just like, can you go away now? But he won't leave. So I'm just putting this on the lid. Kind of the whole lid, but not all the way to the end. Now I'm going to go back with the Real Techniques crease brush with the color Semi Sweet, which is just a darker matte brown. And I'm going to take it on the outer V portion, so just right here, and then just bring it into the crease a bit just to like right there and just blend it onto the gold color now I'm just gonna go back with the Real Techniques base shadow brush with that white chocolate color it's just like a very um, it's kind of like a matte white, but it's very sheer, so there isn't, it's really good for blending purposes, so that way you blend these two colors together. Yeah, don't mind Oliver right there. I'm gonna cover him in a bit. Sorry, you have to stare at him. Now for the lower lash line, I'm going to be going in with that same gold color and with the Real Techniques accent brush, which is just like a little... I'm going to be going in the lower lash line, just over here on this side. I'm just going to get it in the inner tear duct just to brighten that area up a bit. Then I'm going to go in with that semi-sweet dark matte brown color on the outer lash line. And that's it for the eyeshadow portion. Now I'm going to be adding eyeliner. And I'm going to be using the L'Oreal 24 hour L'Oreal gel liner. Okay, so now that the eyeliner is done, I'm going to just put some powder over my face just to 
mattify everything, I'm going to be using my Bobbi Brown Illuminating Finish Powder. With my Real Techniques buffing brush. Hopefully that covered up all over a little bit better. <laughs> now I'm going to go in with my Hoola Benefit Bronzer, which looks like this. It's just like a matte brown. I'm going to use the Real Techniques Contour Brush. Tap off the excess and then just... I'm just going to add my Too Faced Perfect blush brush. Now that that's done, I'm just going to curl my lashes. And I'm going to go in with my Maybelline Falsies Volume Express. And I recently discovered this and it is amazing <laughs> because my lashes are not that long and they can never hold a curl but when I put this on they stayed curled all day and up all day and I was pleasantly surprised because it's really hard for me to find something that will keep them up <laughs> so this will definitely be a repurchase like the mascara gods have answered my prayers. Love it! I mean, look at that. And it's gonna stay like that. Now I'm just gonna put my Goddess of the Sea from the Alluring Aquatic Collection. And it's just like a purplish plum lipstick. Um, you can wear any purple lipstick you'd like. I just chose this one for today because I think it really goes really good with the eyeshadow. I'm just going to wipe off. And that pretty much concludes the look.